Growing up in the Antelope Valley, aerospace was a very important part of our community. Seeing various aircraft fly from Edwards Air Force Base was always fascinating to me and inspired me to pursue a career in aerospace. I'm Gina Patrick. I'm an avionics technician at Armstrong Flight Research Center. I took a course of study in aerospace technology at Antelope Valley College for the B-1 program. The training course was a six-month full-time course and it was a little bit challenging because we had to learn all the aircraft systems, weight and balance, towing. We covered mechanical things as well as electrical, but when it was all completed, I decided I wanted to be electrical versus a mechanic. And now I am permanently assigned to Global Hawk. My role is to, to fabricate the wiring that will interface with the Global Hawk payload system. Then we integrate the wiring into the plane and connect it to their instruments and perform operational checks of the payload system. The Global Hawk can fly approximately 26 hours nonstop. Power coming on. That requires a fuel load of about 14,500 pounds. During the process of fueling, we have to equally distribute the fuel between the wings. We do that by keeping weight on each wing tip. And then I have to move from side to side to keep them the wings level. One of the good things about working with Global Hawk is deploying studying hurricanes on the East Coast and also in Guam. And then there's a upcoming mission possible for Hawaii next year. So yeah, I want to go on that one. <laughs> I want to go on that one bad. Yeah, studying hurricanes has been real interesting and working alongside the principal investigators has been very challenging, helping them maintain and collect their data. Working at NASA is incredible.